He said, the cashier looked at me like I was crazy, but I was smiling and grinning on the inside. <laughs> wow, check that out. That is massive. Woo! And I'm like, no way. No way. Hey, oh my goodness. I saw this on Dumpster Diva's YouTube channel. I was watching one of her Goodwill Bins videos and she pulled this little guy out. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. <laughs> My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and I talk to you about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, uh, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. In this video, I am going to talk to you about Bolo items, be on the lookout items that sold in October 2022. These were shared. In my Facebook group, this is what it looks like. Go join if you haven't already. It's linked down below uh, by the members of the Facebook group. So I posted this. It says, share your best October Bolo. And then everybody goes in and shares a screenshot. And then they provide the information that I asked for. So I'm going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And we are just going to dig right in and get started. My husband, so I'm reading what they wrote collected these as a kid and we recently found them in a stocking in a stocking at his stepdad's house. I obviously paid zero for them and they sold on an auction for $205. They are um, a lot of Jada Homie Rollers motorcycle figurines. So this is what they like, look like. They're little homies. Cat feeling thrifty. That is her um, eBay store and this is what it looks like. Bought a huge lot of Christmas decorations at a local estate auction for $13. One of those nights, no one was bidding. Lucky for me. These two items were inside one of the boxes. They sold in less than a week of me listing and in with and within a couple of days of each other. The Heart of Christmas, Hugs and Kittens, Ensco Figurine, $35.75. And the Heart of Christmas, Santa with Child Ornament, 2013, Karen Hahn, Ensco, $39.50. So if you hear me shout out a YouTube channel or an eBay store, that means they are a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and they get a bonus shout out in this video and they will be linked down below. These are resellers and YouTubers. Um, they have great stores. So definitely go down to the description and look for um, those links. All right, bought this along with a whole box of Ralph Lauren bedding, all for $20. So have about $2 in this. Sold quickly for full asking price of $39.99. Have yet to list the comforter, curtains, and some pillow covers. So it's a um, ruffled uh, queen. I think it's like the ruffle. And $39.99 is what that sold for. And I believe that is Noni's Treasure House that sold that. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I saw this on Dumpster Diva's YouTube channel. I was watching one of her Goodwill Bins videos and she pulled this little guy out and I was like, and then I went to her Instagram and I'm like, no way, no way. She already sold it. No way. Um, it's, it's a tie. It's a Beanie Baby. It's a Beanie Boo specifically. So the Beanie Boos have the big glitter eyes and they do typically sell for more. This one sold for $189. $189. Um, so I grabbed her post from Instagram. She is dumpster underscore diva underscore bend. This is what it looks like over on Instagram. She's dumpster diva on YouTube. And I love her videos. She is just like, so like, she just makes you smile. And she just goes through the bins and she talks to you while she's at the bins. And at the end, she has like a little, shows you what she got. But uh, a lot of the items that she sells, she sells on Mercari. That's her main platform. Her, um, I don't know if it's her boyfriend or her husband, uh, John, I know his name is John sold this on eBay for her because it was a big money bolo. But um, she mostly sells on Mercari and I always see like these bundles and she sells stuff for really good prices. And I think a lot of her viewers will be like, hey, can you, hey Robin, can you bundle these for me? And she just 
like bundles them on Mercari. So if you're looking to shop with her at the bins, that's another thing you can do. So she's fantastic. Uh, so definitely check her channel out. I'll link her down below. I bought this Jim Shore Halloween Wicked Ride figurine at a thrift store for $2. I was excited to see comps because some had sold for over 100 when I found it in September. It didn't have any damage, but the string from the witch's hand to the cat had come loose. It also did not have the original box. I listed it for $89.99 because no box and the loose thread. And I also wanted to sell it this year. It sold in four days for asking price plus shipping. The loose string was disclosed and I decided to leave it in it to the buyer to fix with super glue if they wanted. And this is what it looks like. And it's a Jim Shore. So Jim Shore is really a great pickup. Ah, uh, I don't know where she got it and I don't know what she paid for it. But it is a vintage Grateful Dead um, shirt and it sold for $560. That is amazing. Wow. Yeah, Grateful Dead, vintage Grateful Dead. Definitely be on the lookout. Received this item free for a neighbor. Sold it on Mercari for $101 buyer covered shipping. This was my listed price, which was reduced periodically from $130 or $135. I don't remember which. It is a vampire, I don't know if it's perfume or, I don't know, that's what it looks like, but wow. All right, this one comes from Dare to Dream Big 1313. She is a Bolo Buddies member also, and I love this one. She said, not big money, but look at all these Russ Love pets. Look out for these. They are tiny and sell for good money. I got this at an estate sale in a box lot, maybe 10 cents into it, sold for full price, on eBay of $42. The buyer was ecstatic to find the puppy her daughter lost over the summer. So um, it looks like it's about five inches big. It says Russ Love Pets, Puddles, Beanie, Plush, Puppy Dog. <laughs> I love it. You guys know I love selling toys. So that one makes me happy. This was my best October paid a dollar. No, sorry not dollar, paid $175 at a local auction and sold fast for double my money at $350 plus shipping in a few days. I had to hold my breath and pray it got to them in one piece, but in the end it did and I got a positive review. It's a Disney, au um, Disney Auctions Aristocrats Cookie Jar Salt and Pepper Shakers. Ooh, yeah, that would not be fun to ship. Not the most exciting bolo, but I got this motorcycle owner's manual for 25 cents at a yard sale, sold in a month for 40 bucks. Small, easy to photograph, list and ship. Yes, that is awesome. I love that. Picked up this cool vintage mirror for 15 at an estate sale, sold for $485.99, will be delivered via U-Ship. Wow, check that out. That is massive. Woo! I would say I would not want to ship a mirror, um, but incredible bolo. All right, Champagne Taste 73, who is a Bolo Buddies member. I purchased this oyster plate on eBay for $152. I paid up. I knew I probably could make some money on this as it was unusual. I sold it this morning for $299 plus shipping. Wow, she really paid up for it and she bought it on eBay, but you know, you can do that. And that's definitely a... <laughs> That's risky. Woo. So I'm proud of her for doing that. That's awesome. I think she sold it on eBay too. Yeah. It paid 15 cents at my local bins, sold for $65.99 plus shipping. And I'm going to pop up her store. I think it's um, Dodeals, D-O-D-E-A-L-S. I cannot remember. I have so many members now that I'm just trying to keep them all straight. Um, if you guys are a member and you're sharing on this post, please hashtag it Bolo Buddies member and also put your eBay store or your YouTube channel beside it. No links, but just so when I'm reading right now, I see it and I remember to say it, okay? I don't want to miss anyone. Bought uh, for two, uh, I'm sorry, bought for $7.24 at the Goodwill, listed it the same day after purchase and sold within 20 minutes of listing for full asking price. Sold for $129.95. This is incredible. It's a vintage Sandy Starkman Sun Embroidered Colorful Patchwork Jacket, size medium. Paid a dollar at the Goodwill and sold it for $55. This is a ring display, a vintage ring display. It looks kind of grungy and it's still sold for 55 bucks. So uh, keep your eyes out for those. So funny, right? 
She said she listed it, um, let's see, sold in two weeks on eBay, wooden bottom velvet top, listed for $69.99, took a best offer of $55, just started thrifting and reselling in September. That's awesome. This religious doll sold well for me, paid $3.99 minus 25% off. Tales of Glory, Mary the Mother of Jesus, talking doll, $49.99 on that one. Bought this at a thrift store for $5. Sold in two days for full asking price. Listed a little bit higher than similar one due to mine having extra outside pockets. It's a vintage rare Hartman luggage lined leather duffel travel carry on bag. Complete. $275.96 on that. So that is wowza. Here is a cool 1980s black light flocked poster. So it's kind of fuzzy flocked. I bought it in an estate sale for 10 bucks. I put it up for auction starting at $59.99, my lowest acceptable price. It got one bid in the first hour, which got me pretty stoked, but it turned to be the only bid. I'm okay with that. The condition was a bit rough. Buyer paid and it went off. So it's a black light poster. It's Death Rider 933 Grim Reaper. And that's what it looks like. Pick these up at an estate sale auction for about 46 total. Took this offer for 420 after less than a week listed. All right, this one's really small, so I'm zooming in, which means I'm getting closer to my computer. Um, it looks like they are Jim Shore. One is, they say Williamsburg, a drummer's call and fluter's tune, maybe. This is what they look like. I'll try to get a close up for you guys, but in total, $420. That's great. Okay, this one is a jock strap. And I have talked about jock straps before. This is new in the packaging. Um, he said, yes, grabbed it at a small, lo small local thrift store, paid a dollar. He said, the cashier looked at me like I was crazy, but I was smiling and grinning on the inside. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. Sold a pair of Art Deco Sunbeam light fixtures for $75. Bought years ago at an auction, but don't remember how much. They were probably in a box of stuff for $5. No one wanted this style in my area then. Okay, so they are another small picture here. Vintage Art Deco Sunbeam White Porcelain Bathroom bed Bedroom Sconce, I think. This is what it looks like. Um, so I apologize. The picture's small. You guys, if you post, please try to get me a big photo so everybody can see. Um, sold in a few hours. It is a Dune novel by Frank Herbert, 1965. Sold for $70. I do believe that I asked her to bring this over and share it. And um, she didn't add the details. But they are somewhere on Facebook, in the Facebook group. So I apologize. But I thought that one was a cool one. Found this at a hometown thrift store for $1.29 and sold for $100. I had the item listed at $130, but took a best offer of $100. The buyer paid shipping. Oh, I love it. It's a plush. Vintage 1994 Kenner Secret Keepin' Sweetheart Pups Puppy Plush Purple No Key. So it's missing the key and still sold for $130. All right, you guys, which one was your favorite bolo? Um, if you're not in my Facebook group, go join. What are you waiting for? Go share a bolo so you can be in this video. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, I would love for you to subscribe. If you've been here for a while and you keep coming back, thank you. If you made it to the end of the video, comment below. I made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching.